Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is a uh, quick questions and answer for those that are asking the questions, and also we have a little update about version 2004. This is the next version of Windows 10. Um, this is a version that is very soon to be released to everybody, and it is, of course, um, really finished, actually. We'll probably have a few more cumulative updates, but it is uh, finished. So the first question that everybody's asking, once again, when is it going to be released? So the rumors, and not just the rumors, the um, signs that we see is that this is almost, almost here. Uh, and one of them is the fact that the uh, enterprise can now download it and uh, try it on their own computers and networks. So this is a sign that it's really finished and that uh, businesses can actually, uh, you know, IT departments can actually deploy and test it out. The other uh, thing that shows that it's finished, of course, the release of the uh, image for 19041 with, of course, uh, also the fact that it's only cumulative updates that we get now. So that shows us that 19041 is the thing. As for the release date, it is pretty much official that April is going to be the way it's going to actually be released. At that time is April. In waves to known machines. Of course, they're going to start like they always do. They're going to ha actually have seekers first. So seekers will be the ones that are uh, possibly... Uh, if they check Windows Update, see it on their computers. And then there's going to be, of course, after the seekers, it's going to be the known machines that are okay, are going to get it, and so on and so on. And, of course, that's what's going to happen. It's going to be released uh, in that manner. The uh, media creation tool will be updated at the time that this is released. As for the name, still no name. A lot of speculation that it probably could be April 2020 update. And uh, this is going to be, of course, something that's possible. They've been pretty much using that way of doing things. And uh, that's, you know, what we think is going to happen. Uh, don't think there's going to be any delay. Some people are saying, well, could there be delays? And, uh, you know, well, right now with all the tests... And the cumulative updates that have been released and what we see and the problems we see, this doesn't seem to be uh, a delay. We don't think there's going to be a delay on the Windows 10 version 2004 release. So April, it's going to start rolling out. And, you know, that's not very far away. April is less than a month away. There's even speculations that there could be uh, seekers could actually maybe even have it at the end of the month of March. But uh, let's... Just check it out for the month of April. Uh, is my computer going to be able to run version 2004? I'm running previous version. Uh, they've updated, of course, the list of devices and of computers and supported hardware. There's really not much change. So that means pretty much everybody that is on, you know, 1803, 1809, 1903, 1909 are going to move to this version of Windows 10 without any problems. And uh, that should be the case. It shouldn't change anything. It's pretty much, you know, they didn't add a lot of stuff once again. It's almost, uh, you know, identical if you want to uh, previous versions. So this shouldn't slow down your machine or change anything really. Uh, a lot of questions about, well, you know, will I be lost when I get this new version? Are, are there some changes that, you know, means I'm going to need to learn again about some of the stuff? No, you're not. It's like all the new features are, for, for most people, will be pretty much invisible. And uh, will they have the new icons? Will there be uh, Microsoft Edge Chromium? So, uh, well, icons are being pushed out to everybody. So, yeah, that, that's possible that the new icons will be there. Uh, no, the new start menu should not be there. We don't, we don't think it's going to show up here. It's going to show up in uh, uh, next version uh, that will be this fall. And uh, basically, this is going to be, you know, pretty much uh, the same thing for everybody. And uh, this is 
of course, going to be a big install. It's a big reinstall of Windows on this one. It's not like the previous, uh, you know, the November 2019 update that was a cumulative update. This one is really a full-fledged version that reinstalls. So uh, it's coming up, and uh, we'll, uh, of course, have more news as we uh, get more details about it. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.